Hello and welcome to my workshop. So today we're going to go over how to scale down a one-to-one -one truck to what we refer to as a one-tenth scale. What we're going to find out is that most of the trucks we see on the market and the ones that I'm building myself aren't exactly one-tenth scale. So I'm going to show you my most recent build and how I've scaled that down from one-to-one -to, -one to fit the customer's chassis. And uh, let's just get started with that. So the first thing you need to do when you're going to be uh, figuring the scale is you need to have all of your information. So you need to do a little bit of homework. And so what we're going to be looking at here is a 1969 K5 Blazer. And when I looked that up, you know, the one-to-one -one scale, that is 2642 millimeters. Now it, it probably came in inches but I just converted it over to millimeters and that is the wheelbase and so I also looked at the width and that is 2007 millimeters and so then you have to go and say okay well what kind of a, a chassis am I going to be putting this on and so this one happens to be going on a, a TF2 so we're going to say this is the, you know, quote unquote, one tenth scale. And so it's 288.93 millimeters, and that's the wheelbase. So you don't have to get this precise, but I just converted this over from inches, and that's the number I came up with. So, you know, when you're getting the smaller, it's better to keep the, you know, as many digits as you can. So the width is 207.96 millimeters. So now you have all the basic information you need to progress forward with coming up with a scale. But you really need to know what uh, three simple formulas. You don't necessarily always need all three of them, but it's good to have the three. And they're really not that complicated. So I'm going to write them out in a way that's kind of easy to understand. And so the first one is you have the scale size equal to the actual size, and that's be the one-to-one -one scale, divided by the scale factor. So then you have the actual size equal to the scale factor multiplied by the scale size. And last you have scale factor equals to actual size divided by scale size. So these are the three basic formulas that, that you would need um, like I said, most of the time you only need one or two, depending on what information you have. But it's good to have all three, and I'll put these in the uh, in the description below. So then, what we want to do is try to figure out what what we want to be working with, uh, because if you look at these two numbers, they're not going to be equal. Um, and that's the problem: is that these chassis are built around a certain scale and they don't exactly work with every truck because every truck is going to have a different wheelbase, different width, and, and so you have to kind of make it work. So what I find is the easiest thing is to work around the width of the, of the, the axles because that's a, the hardest thing to change. So you just find out, you know, what, with the wheels you have on the tires, the, everything's set up just like you want to run it. What is the actual width? And that's the width I was given is the actual width of his setup with that TF2. So then you say, okay, well, I want to figure out the scale factor for the width. And that will give me the overall scale factor. So you have the scale factor. And this is for the width equals... And so the scale factor is the actual size, so 2007, 
divided by the scale size, which is 207.96. And so when you get your calculator out, and it's 2007 divided by 207.96, you come up with 9.65. So essentially the scale factor is 1 to 9.65. So as you can see, it's going to be a little bit smaller than 1 tenth, or the factor is anyway, which will actually make it a, a, a little bit bigger truck. So now you know the scale factor, and you can say, okay, well now this we know is a fixed width. That's how wide we have to work by. So now we need to know the wheelbase of the truck. And so what's most likely going to happen, and what I tell most people, is that you're going to have to either lengthen or shorten your wheelbase somewhat. And that's part of the negotiations. We say, okay, what are you comfortable with shortening it to? What are you, you know, comfortable with lengthening it to? Um, and, you know, do you want the tires to poke out? We can probably adjust some of this one way or another. And you may have to, to do this a couple of times to come up with exactly what you're looking for. Like I said, I've already come up with and know that this is the width he wants to work with and, and how the body wants to sit on there. So that's what we're going to go with. So the next thing you want to do is the, the scale size, as I mentioned. So you find your know, scale size equals the actual size. So we're going to the, the wheelbase. So that's 2642. And so the scale size actual size divided by scale factor. So divided by, we just come up with a scale factor here of 9.65. And so you get your calculator again. And 2642 divided by 9.65 gives you 273.78. 273.78. Two millimeters is going to be your, your wheelbase. And so now we know that this is a fixed 273.78 wheelbase, 207.96. And so that's essentially what you need to do to come up with how you'd want to scale a truck down. So now that I have all your, your numbers figured out, you set those to the side, and then you have to go find some pictures, uh, layout, drawings, um, pretty much whatever you can find. And you're obviously going to want to find ones that are the more straight on you can you can find the better. Uh, this turned out to be a pretty decent uh, picture from the side. Now I've been using this and cutting it up, but essentially you get the idea. So you know that you need to have a wheelbase of 273.78. And so what you end up doing is you scale this picture up so that it's big enough that the wheelbase equals 273.78. And that way you know that, for the most part, all the rest of the dimensions will just kind of follow suit because you're scaling this up. And then what this will also give you as a way to have a almost a paper template. Now it's not going to be perfect. Um, you know, this is obviously flat 2D and the, the body is 3D, it's rounded. They have uh, tapers from front to back. There's a lot of things that, that don't translate. So you have to just kind of take this as a starting point and kind of work from there and see how this is starting to come together. But that's a good place to start from that. And essentially you do the same thing for the uh, front and for the rear. And typically I find it, most people don't climb up on a building and take a picture of their truck straight down. So you'll probably ever never find those. So what I end up having to do is draw this out by hand on some graph paper. So. I don't really go crazy with trying to get this perfect. I just try to get the basic outline and shape um, set up based off of my my pictures that I've scaled up. And then that gives me a point of reference when I'm building this to, to use the graph paper, especially when I'm putting up the sides. I can kind of lay this out and get a, get a, you know, kind of build it on the graph paper, which makes it easier a little bit quicker. That's essentially the the basics of getting 
the scale factor, uh, doing the research to come up with the, the pictures, scaling them up to match whatever dimensions you've uh, figured out, and then if you need be drawing out the, um, the top view on some graph paper. So I've had several people ask about this, about how to do this scale, how I've come up with the drawings, how I get the, all this stuff set up. And I hope this was uh, helpful, uh, somewhat interesting. I hope you know you find it uh, beneficial. I'm not really sure how many uh, people are going to go out and uh, start building their own bodies and, and trucks and stuff. But, you know, the more that the hat do, the better off we are in this hobby. So um, anything I can do to help is, is uh, I'm willing to do that. So if you want to support the channel, the, the easiest way is to subscribe. Uh, if you're interested, we do have uh, t-shirts for sale and several different designs and affordable prices, so you can check those out. I, uh, like I said, I hope this was interesting. I hope it was uh, beneficial. i uh, got a lot of projects coming up, uh, so I get, want to get back to those. Until then, we'll see you on the rocks.